And this weather perfectly describes my mood today. It's Friday. It's February 3rd. I haven't planned this video or anything, but I'm just... Listen, Valentine's Day is coming up. I've never felt particularly into the holiday. Like, probably, I've never had a Valentine before. Recently, I haven't been feeling very self-lovey because, you know, people say, like, oh my god, if you're alone on Valentine's Day, yes, bitch, love yourself, blah, blah, You know, I don't, I don't completely disagree with that, but sometimes you just feel like shit. Um, and that's me right now. I want to document this situation. Maybe some people out there are feeling the same, and I also want to show you a few things that I like to do when I don't feel good, and I don't like what I'm doing, and I don't like how I look. I guess that is the intro for this video. And see, I don't even feel good about that. Today has just been a day. I helped a friend. She is selling some clothes. And she asked me if I wanted to model for her. And I said, sure. Life experiences, let's do it for the plot. I haven't seen her in so long. So I said, sure, I'll help you out. Love a girl boss moment. Um, I'm on my way back from doing a photo shoot with my friend. It was fun. I had fun. Um... I'm in traffic right now, that's why you can only see part of my face, and I don't know if this is even gonna make it in the vlog. But it was fun, and she was showing me the pictures, and I thought, you know, I was like working it, strutting it, whatever, trying. I was fucking trying my best. And then she shows me the pictures, and she's like, you look so good. But I don't think I look that good. Like, I did my makeup and everything, and you can't even see it. Um, I don't know, I just, I don't know, I'm not feeling good about it i mean she said they're great and that they help so i'm glad that i was able to help her but i don't know i don't feel good about it i don't feel confident about it i didn't like what i saw and now i'm back home it's a gloomy gloomy day i have so much work to do i'm doing this miley cyrus video right now that you guys probably already saw but i put so much work into that and i'm not loving how it's looking like the lighting is off and i don't know how to fix it it's too fucking long. It's over half an hour long and I just know nobody is going to watch it. I mean, I did it and I had so much fun doing it, so I think I'm still going to upload it because who cares if nobody watches it, but at the same time, I'm like, you know, I want to grow and I want people to see what I'm posting. I'm feeling really so not motivated. I still have so much editing to do. It's Friday today. I usually upload on Saturdays. I know this is not going up tomorrow. I want to cry also. Sometimes you just have to say fuck it. Like, I'm really tired, so I think I'm going to take a nap, even though I have so much work to do. One thing I always do when I'm dying of stress, but I'm also dying of exhaustion, is honor my exhaustion and just sleep. Whenever I work under these conditions, nothing ever turns out great, and I always end up repeating it. So I'm going to give myself a break, and uh, we'll see how that goes. I woke from my slumber. What is this hair? But the sun's coming out, so that's good. It is Saturday afternoon. I have finally pulled my shit together. Again, I took it really easy today in the morning. I finished my work. That stress is off my shoulders. The body dysmorphia is a little bit less intense today. My friend sent me some other pictures yesterday that I didn't hate. But look, like it's not that bad. I mean, I am happy about that. I started talking to you and I forgot that I wanted to do my skincare because I just got out of the shower. Vitamin C from Gara Skincare, which is a local brand that I love. Well, the body dysmorphia is doing a little bit better. The PMS symptoms though, they're starting to kick in. Doing some caudally eye cream. But today I thought it was a perfect day to organize my shit. I have a lot of things in my vanity. There's a little bit of everything from this week's video, all the planning. I have so much shit that needs to be organized. So I want to organize that because whenever I feel like my space doesn't look good, I don't feel good. And I, I spend a lot of time in my room, which I know people say that it's like, you should only use your room to like sleep or not work to like wind down and stuff. I use it for a lot of things. 
Whenever my room isn't clean, I don't feel good. I feel really lazy, like I can't do anything. So I wanna clean it up. Because whenever I'm feeling a little depressed, you know, no self-love, cleaning up always helps me feel a little bit better. And it's kind of like a gift to myself, you know? I use a Peach Slices Snail Rescue on one oil-free moisturizer for my moisturizer. I really, really like it. Now I'm doing some sunscreen, even though it's fucking gloomy today as well. But I am using the Paula's Choice Youth Extending Daily Hydrating Fluid. And I have a ton of sunscreen, so I alternate between which ones I use. But this one is expiring in May. It literally says expiration date May 2023, so I have to use it up. Now that I'm clean, I still dress like Adam Sandler. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I do Adam Sandler looks every weekend. We love a Saturday. Especially done with my vanity. I'm happy. I feel calmer. I find that the first thing that I neglect when I'm not feeling good, when I don't want to take care of myself, is my space because that's the easiest thing, which sucks. So yeah, this is just when I needed. I feel a little bit lighter, like the collective from yesterday's rest and today's cleanup is making me feel so much better already. Cleaning up your space is a very much underrated thing, but it is very important to feel better. Having a clean space is an act of self-love, especially when it's your bedroom or the space where you spend most of your time. It's Sunday and we're here looking crusty. Weekends are crusty for me. I never look good on weekends. Decided to come outside randomly because I was feeling it. I'm not a really an outside person. The sun is out finally, so I'm feeling a little bit better. I wanna talk about another thing that really helps me ground myself whenever I'm feeling like Kakita, and that is writing, journaling, planning. I love to plan my weeks. I have various planners, and whenever I'm feeling like shit, I do like to plan and write out things and just reflect. I have this planner. This is a flight planner, and it has a lot of cool things. Like, it's separated by month. You can have, like, for example, it's February right now, and you can start it whenever you want, but I have, like, my month here but every week you can do like these two things and you can reflect on things and then you can plan what you want for the week so you have a little bit of everything so you write things that you're grateful for what made you happy your highs and lows for the week things you learned and stuff like that and then you have the bird's eye view which is what i'm going to be focusing on next week what i want to feel read listen to and then i'll do like i'll fill in each week with my to do's and yeah it's just visually very easy and I use this planner to plan my work life and then I have another planner which is a little bit more sentimental and woo woo for my life. I have that one where I do my to do's for the day of things that I want to do for myself. So for example I want to read, I want to call my mom, things like that that aren't necessarily work related but I also want to incorporate into my day. So this really helps me just come back to myself and uh, I don't know reflect. Whenever I'm not feeling good, this is another thing that I tend to neglect. I'm like, who cares? But I know it makes me feel better. Um, I don't know if this is a good angle. I kind of hate it. But anyways, I just wanted to pop back in because Sunday was going better. And then I weighed myself for the first time in like a month because I just saw the scale there. And for some reason, I was like, let's just see what we have going on. And now I feel like complete shit. I know that I'm bloated and my body, you know, is going through it right now. I understand that. Like, my brain gets it. My heart kind of doesn't. I weighed myself and I... I don't want to cry. <laughs> I'm the heaviest I've ever been. That shouldn't even matter, but it feels really discouraging because I've been changing a lot of things in my diet. Not necessarily to lose weight, but to feel better like physically feel better like long-term health benefits but like somewhere in the back of my mind i was like yeah i'm probably gonna lose weight doing this because i'm being healthier well, that's kind of the expectation that always runs in the back of my mind even though i'm trying to do better even though i know weight doesn't define my worth and it sucks and i don't know why i weighed myself like that just really put a damper on my mood and i know i'm not the only one that goes through this and another thing that i like to do is 
journal, like specific journaling. It's kind of like a manifestation thing that I saw on YouTube. And it's kind of like journaling as if you were the version of yourself you want to become. So it's like manifesting your dream life as if you already had it. So you write your day. Like I'm writing about my Sunday, um, but I'm writing it from the perspective of the person who I want to be, the person who already has all the things that I want. And I've been testing it out a little. This is purely like a journaling notebook. And then I have a specific pen for that as well. And all I'm going to do right now is just write about my Sunday as I wish it would have gone. So to give you an example, if I'm feeling not confident in my body right now from PMSing and I'm not feeling good, I will write my journal entry from the perspective of, oh, I'm gonna get my period, but I don't feel bad. You know, I feel energized. I feel like my body is getting ready to do something natural, but it, it doesn't put a damper in my mood. Today I wore some new pants that I bought this week and they fit amazing and they made me feel so empowered. Like things like that. Whenever I'm not feeling good, I'm feeling super anxious about something that's gonna happen the next day or I feel like I didn't like how the day went, I will write it from the perspective of the person I want to become and the life I want to live that I'm not currently living. I think that helps you get into a mindset of I am that person and you don't have to necessarily do what I'm doing. You can just journal about your day or about your feelings or like do journal prompts you find on Pinterest. Just finished getting ready. <laughs> um, I need some something on my lips but anyways I'm gonna go work at a coffee shop with my best friend because it's Monday I woke up thinking it was Sunday I don't know why so I desperately need to get out of the space and work somewhere else because I'm not inspired and I have a ton of shit to do I'm just ugh, it's a Monday you know that feeling so I've had this Mac love me liquid lip color in my collection for a long time this is feel me and I tried it the other day and I really liked it so let's see Moisturizing a bit with the Deck of Scarlet 3 Weight Solid Lip Oil. And then I'll add a little bit of this. And shred it out. Boom, there we go. Time to go work. Overall, today was just a better day. And one other thing that just made my inner child so happy and it just like made my life so much better. There's a new podcast called Wizards of Waverly Pod with Jennifer Stone and David DeLuise who play Harper and Jerry in Wizards of Waverly Place. They're just doing like a rewatch of every episode and doing like a podcast of each of them. And the first episode came out today. It makes my inner child happy and I, I just love like knowing new things but also like going back to simpler times. So that really made me happy today. Overall, it was a better day. It was a better day and I think leaving the house helped. It's Tuesday and I woke up feeling awful and crampy. As you can see, it's a few days before my period, so this is when things get bad. Today I have a lot to do. It's a full content creating day. Okay, I am back on the floor looking crusty, dusty, but clean. And right now I have gathered all my things. I'm shooting some pictures, a few reels as well. So <laughs> if you haven't followed me on Instagram, go follow me there. But I'll just go seek the sun and shoot some content. I'm gonna spend the whole morning doing that and listening to podcasts. So it's gonna be a fun morning. I'm feeling a little bit better and I'm gonna try to do as much work as possible so that I don't have to worry about all the things I have to do because I already did them. It is the end of the workday. I look like hell. Not a lot to update you on, but here are a few things that I did. First off, it's a chocolate smoothie and I'm running out of battery so I'm gonna go change it and then talk, okay? We're back! As I was saying, I made myself a little chocolate smoothie. This has cacao powder, frozen bananas for that like smooth consistency, peanut butter, and a little bit of honey. I'm craving chocolate a lot. And apparently that's your body asking for magnesium, but like chocolate's good too so I just made myself that little smoothie to treat myself. I can't get fucking comfortable in this chair. Anyways, yeah, a lot of work, a lot of frustrations. But I mainly have been feeling low energy and not good about myself. And whenever I'm not like feeling physically good about my body, one thing I like to do is pamper it. So give it things it's craving. 
I also like taking baths. I like going over and exfoliating everything really well. Moisturizing everywhere, which is something I need to do more of. I also like to do a little bit of yoga. Today I did a little bit of lymphatic yoga. Doing things like that kind of helps ground me and feel, you know, like I'm taking care of myself. Even though I don't love myself at this moment, I am taking care of myself. So that way my brain can start to understand, oh, she's taking care of herself. She takes care of herself because she loves herself. She loves herself. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do my nails. And I'm gonna do something nude. And that's gonna be me pampering myself to show myself that I love myself even on the days that I don't. Okay, so this is the setup. I'm doing this in my bed. Dangerous, I know. I'm doing my nails on this thing. I don't know what it is, but I've had it since I was like 11. And this is my designated nail thing, as you can probably tell. I'm just gonna be painting my nails with this Essie Expressi or Espressi color in Buns Up. I have Outer Banks playing in the background. Well, I'm going to have Outer Banks playing in the background because I'm doing a rewatch. The new season is coming out. So it's just a night or well, an afternoon to myself. It may or may not be 10 p.m. already, but uh, I took a shower, had dinner, spoke with my sister on FaceTime, did all the things, but I just wanted to come on here to show you the nails. This side always looks a little bit worse because it, I have to do it with my left hand, which is my non-dominant hand, but uh, yay, I'm super happy. Having my nails done just makes me feel better. It's something that I want to start doing more. It's kind of like treating myself. Obviously, it's like an act of self-love. That's why I do it when I need to make myself feel better, but I just feel more complete. We love the nails. It is Wednesday, and I just came back home from going to get a coffee with a friend. The same friend that I talked about on Friday, because on Friday it was all work, so we decided to get a coffee to catch up. I woke up feeling <clears throat> literally. Another thing that I do when I don't feel good about myself, and I'm like, ugh. What am I doing with my life? Like, I just want to stay in my bed, hold up in my house, doing nothing, not seeing anyone, not talking to anyone. I'm like, I'm, I'm feeling really nasty. Like, I don't know how to explain it. So I, like, isolate from everyone. That doesn't help. It just makes things worse. So when my friend proposed we get together for coffee, I said, yeah, I knew it was going to be a challenge because I'm not feeling my best. But I made it, like, a point to, to leave the house and see people to feel a little bit better. Plus, I feel like when I'm in this headspace of, mm, I don't like myself, I don't feel good about myself, like, meeting someone and talking to them, like, having a conversation with them kind of takes my mind off myself, if that makes sense. And I focus on her and I listen to her instead of just blah, 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 listening to me and, like, my inner monologue and that kind of helps me get out of that headspace so that's another thing that I think it's probably the hardest thing for me to do, but it helps. Um, but yeah, that's me right now. I, I just wanted to update you guys and give you this kind of like last tidbit. And that is it. I am going to shut up now because I know this is going to be a hefty vlog. If you're feeling anything, I'm here for you. We all feel this way at some point in time and there are things you can do to help you get out of this slump if you need to talk to someone or if you can be proactive and do things yourself. I know it's so hard when you're in this mindset, but we have to help ourselves and things like this can help you. I hope they do. And if you're ever feeling lonely or unlovable or whatever, especially during this time of the year, which is all about Valentine's Day and loving people and loving yourself, all that talk can just make things worse. So if you need someone to talk to, my DMs are open. Follow me on Instagram or comment here on YouTube. Thank you for joining me this week, which has been a little bit of a roller coaster, but I hope this helps someone. And if you're going through this currently, I'm here for you. I love you and I will see you in the next one. Bye everybody. Mwah.